It's Eden. It's December 27th, Monday, last week of my winter vacation. And I just wanted to give you guys an update. And I also did some shopping today and actually got some of my favorite stuff from some of my favorite stores. So I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit. Um, update weight wise, um, last week, the week prior to Christmas, um, not so good on the eating and the exercising. I'm going to show you and hopefully this shows up. Yeah, it's a little weird because I have a mirror um, thing on my iPhone. So anyways, you can tell that three days I went over on my calories and the other three days, Saturday, Christmas, I put in nothing because I tracked nothing. Um, Monday and Thursday, I stopped tracking after lunchtime. So I'm sure I was over those days too. Um, so basically, I was over pretty much all week. Um, even Sunday, I was a scotch over. I can't. Know, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so I did gain 1.2 pounds. So I am now 120.4 pounds. My goal is it was 115, and now my goal is 110 because I think I want to lose about another 10.4 pounds. Um, at this point. So I'm not sure if that gain is all from the fact that I was over this week. Yesterday was the first day in a long time I ate to the point of being stuffed. Um, I didn't even do that on Christmas Day or on Thursday night when we went out for my sister's birthday. Um, we went to Benihana's, which was awesome. I haven't been there in a long time. And I made some really good food choices this week. I just ate a lot of everything. But like I said, yesterday, Sunday was the first time in a long time I just was over, over capacity stuffed. Um, <laughs> we went and watched the Bears game with my sister and her boyfriend and my mom and dad. And we ordered pizza and pasta and garlic bread. And I just ate way too much. I had like probably double what I should have had. So it is what it is. Um... Anyways, and I, I also probably didn't have, there were a lot of days this week when I did not have enough water um, or I had alcoholic beverages that were also not counted because um, they were out for dinner or at Christmas or whatever. So 1.2 I don't think is a bad gain after, you know, the week of, before, whatever, Christmas. I'm okay with that. So hopefully I'll lose that this week. Um, I got right up today. And I went out, I went shopping, and then stopped at the gym and did my 30 minutes on the elliptical. We also have an elliptical at home, um, and I've been trying to cancel and get out of my contract with this gym. So far, it's not happening. I need to get a hold of the owner, so we'll see what we can do. Anyways, if not, I'll, I'll use it when I can. They do have some nice weight equipment. So anyways, moving on. If that's all you want to see, feel free to stop here. Um, but I am going to show you now some of the stuff I bought today. I'm going to start with my favorite food items lately. Um, these are some great ones that I basically have used as replacements for other things I used to eat. And these have less calories. I count calories. Um, so these have worked, or, or more fiber or something like that. So first one, because um, we were out of these, Egos, I love Egos. I put just a little bit of butter on these, and uh, these are the low-fat, Nutri-Grain, whole-grain ones. For two waffles, it's 140 calories, and I think the uh, regular ones are like double that. Um, these have three grams of fiber and uh, five grams of protein in them, so that's awesome. I love these. I eat them, you know, usually when I'm home maybe with a fiber one yogurt um, for breakfast. And uh, of course, I put my margarine and syrup. And I've been using the no sugar syrups. Um, the one I got the last time, which I'm almost out of, which is why I bought a new one, was just a store brand, either Dominic's or Jewel. I'm not sure, because I shop at both places, um, sugar-free. And it had 40 calories per quarter cup. 
Now this one, I went to Walmart to shop today and just picked up a couple things. Um, this is 20 calories per quarter cup. So I know 20 is not a lot, but in the scheme of things, it is for me because I'm counting calories. So, and this is Mrs. Butterworth, so I have a feeling this will taste better than the store brand ones that I have. So I will let you guys know what I think of that when I try it. Um, bananas. I always have bananas. I know they're a little high sugar-wise, but I put them in my oatmeal. I put peanut butter and bananas in my oatmeal, in my plain oatmeal, and um, I eat them with my other cereals and lots of other stuff. So these are usually in addition to my breakfast. If I'm not having yogurt, I'll have a banana. Um, just, it fills me up. So I love bananas. They're great. All right. And I haven't had this for a while because I haven't had a ton of other cereals in the house. Fiber One Honey Clusters. And they have little these little clusters in there with the flakes. These ones are really good. Some of the Fiber One cereals I don't like. Um, I do like the Fiber One Raisin Bran. That's tasty. I don't really like the Fiber One Shredded Wheat. I have it. I'm finishing the box. It's not my favorite. Okay. And I do like the Special K um, Strawberry. Was it red berries? Yeah. Um, but anyways, this fiber one has, what does it say? 51% of your daily fiber. So it's got 13 grams of fiber in there. And uh, it says with a half a cup of skim milk, the total serving is 200 calories. I actually use a light soy milk, so it's a little less than that. And there's three grams of protein in here. And I'll cut up a banana and throw it in there. Really good. And I don't actually drink, okay, this is a weird, odd, odd thing. I don't actually drink the milk when I finish my cereal. Sometimes with the soy milk I do, I'm lactose intolerant, so that's been a problem for me in the past. Um, since I switched to soy milk, it's been much better, and I, drink, I use the light, just plain soy milk, not vanilla. Vanilla was super sweet, I thought. Um, so I use that in my cereal, but still, I don't even always finish the milk, so I don't necessarily have to count that towards my calories I just do um, from world market um, which is like an import store um, if you guys don't have those around you I um, I drink coffee many a morning and um, I like to put vanilla syrup in it and of course the sugar-free or low-fat um, vanilla creamer yeah vanilla creamer and then I put in my vanilla syrup so I make it just like my favorite McDonald's coffee um, and so I get the Tarani sugar-free French vanilla syrup this has zero calories the only thing that's in there is five milligrams of sodium um, everything else is zero so super tasty tastes just like the regular one I think and uh, it's same brand that McDonald's use, and I think Starbucks uses this too, I'm not positive. Um, and I don't know about Dunkin' Donuts, but a lot of coffee places use this brand, the Tarani. Um, so this was from World Market. I know they sell the smaller bottles at um, most of the grocery stores now. They didn't for a long time. But I get the big one, partially because I use so much of it. And I ordered from Amazon a pump that actually screws onto the top of this. It's in my other one in the kitchen, but um, which is nice because I put about a pump and a half and um, and my coffee is perfect, yummy, perfect. So that's all the food stuff. If that's all you're interested in, feel free to go bye-bye.